So I got a comment the other day asking how I managed to make a helicopter where one seed is only ever in control while the other seed does not have control over the helicopter. Um, to do this, what you need to do is you need to have all of the seed controls on a numerical switch box so that one seed or the other is in control and either one of the numbers the seed actually outputs is getting to the gyro and the other controls or the other seat. Now, in order to do this, however, we need to switch that numerical switch box, right? So to do that, you may be thinking, okay, I'll just assign it a button or I'll assign it something on the seat itself. However, if you do so, especially if you use a toggle button, well, one person has to toggle off their control. Instead, what you can do is use a push button, or in this case, I've used the hotkeys on the seat in order to do this. So, how do you wire that up? Well, I've used the 2 hotkey, that's generally what I like to use, because it's very close to the WASD controls. Um, but what you need to do, because the seats are generally configured, as you can see, to use toggle. So you go in the select mode, you click on the seat, and you switch this toggle mode into the push mode using the buttons here. Once you've done that, you can wire the button to an OR gate. Now this OR gate, basically, if either of these seats, either OR of these seats, are pushing their 2 key, this OR gate will toggle. What it will toggle is a push to toggle. So now we're back to converting the actual push of our button into a toggle. This toggle goes out to our numerical switch boxes, which are connected to the seats. In this case, A and D for one seat and A and D for the other seat. Now, in order to show us which seat is actually activated, I have these indicator lights here. But well, if one is enabled, we can do that through the state of the push to toggle, right? But what about the other? Well, we have to feed our push to toggle into a NOT gate. Now, NOT gates, if they don't receive a signal, they are toggled. They're very much like the ON signal that you have, just you can change them. So, if this push to toggle is not actually ON, well, the NOT gate will be. If the push to toggle is ON, the state is reversed and the NOT gate is off. In practice, once you've wired it up like this and you spawn it out, you can walk over there and you can see we're now sitting in this seat with our indicator light on and I can move the controls. If I now press the 2 key, our logic over here will switch and suddenly, well, I can press my buttons, nothing happens. We have to move over to the other seat and suddenly, we can move everything again. If we press the 2 key again, well, it switches the seat over, and again, no controls.